the one, one. Me name sister yeah. Chami, the original mama. All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most, and here we are again with another one of these. But this is a natural case of a sad passing. Dancehall reggae music legend, for sure, undisputed. Nobody can go around it or argue with it. We're talking about Sister Charmaine. Sister Charmaine has left us. 2021 has claimed Sister Charmaine. Now, according to Jamaica Gleaner, veteran DJ Charmaine McKenzie, as her real name is most popularly known as Sister Charmaine, has died. And she has died at the age of 53. Her friends of many years, her friend of many years, which is Lady Anne, said that the DJ who resided in the Bronx in the United States actually died in her sleep. I spoke to Charmaine on her birthday, August 19th, and I didn't hear from her for the rest of the year, she said. Then three days ago, I called and she told me that she lost some of her numbers. Anyway, I told me, she told me that she got a job to look after a baby in upstate Boston and I said, good. I called her back today and her partner answered the phone and told me that she died this morning. They said that she fed the baby and she went to lay down and she just didn't wake up. All right. So when I do my morning thoughts show and I tell people say, yo, you can really go lay down and don't wake up. So give thanks for every time that you wake up is real lady Anne, who was introduced to sister charmaine in the early 90s by dj squidly ranks remembers her as a kind and a jovial person and one of the baddest artists about the place she said she said that personally she did not like to perform on any stage show after sister charmaine because when charmaine on stage she's in a different zone it's a pity that the industry never gave her that embrace that she really deserve but i took her under my wings as a little sister and i carry her with me to shows charmaine came here to the united states in 1993 and me coming in in 1995 but she always planned to go back home that is to jamaica but i always tell her to hold off a little bit until the kids and the grandkids get a little older she has one daughter and she has a granddaughter, Lady Anne also said. Now, it was in the mid-1980s that the teenage Mackenzie met producer Winston Riley at his Chancery Street record store in Kingston. Riley introduced her to her first hit, the X-rated Glamity. And his Technique label was instrumental in her success, Granny Advice, Strong Body Girl, and man look nice were all produced by riley now of course there is more to be said about sister charmaine let me put it this way i am from a different generation but i for sure know who sister charmaine is because i remember when i used to live in a kingston there my mom used to play them kind of music there back then before i went to go live in clarendon right as a little youth and i remember these songs and i remember these people and she is no doubt what you call a trendsetter, a trailblazer, an icon in every right. Remember recently when I said I would love to see an all-female dance hall lineup? And I'm talking about from the newest and most trending, the Shensias, we're talking about the Spice and all of them, all the way back to the Sister Nancy, them and the Sister Charmaine, them and them kind of thing there. Imagine all of them on one show, on one stage, and the newer generation getting an opportunity to be introduced to the talent of these great ones that paved the way. That would be something beautiful, and it would be something powerful as well for the artists themselves to be embraced by a new generation and to be recognized by a new generation. You know, you have rock and roll artists that are white men and they perform in sold out crowds even today, like Rolling Stones. And those guys are in their 70s and 80s, 60s, 70s and 80s, and they perform in front of sold out crowds. 
to new generation audience, young people who want to go see them. So I believe that we can also do the same for our artists as well. Because who is hot today might not be hot and probably will not be known by the generation 10 years down the road. But they paved the way and their legacy lives on. So like I always say in these situations now, it is appointed unto every man who had been afforded the opportunity to live, to die. It is appointed unto us to die once. Seeing? And Sister Charmaine has came. She blazed the trail. And she has now spread her wings and gone on into unseen realms. See it? And with that said, we ourselves give our honor to be, know that we were here to witness some of her greatness, you understand? And to recognize her for what she is, a real trailblazer, a maverick, a true legend. And I hope to see her be honored in a more prestigious way. Other than us just saying R.I.P. For those of us who remember or know who she is. Alright, leave your comments in the comment section below. This is SoFlow TV. Walk good people. She went to sleep. She did not wake up. Give thanks and praises for every one of your days. I'm out. Peace.